Hey guys, this is Ryan. In today's video, we're gonna be covering a Google AdWords cost calculating tool. And this is completely free to use, assuming that you are set up with the standard version of Google AdWords and not Express. Um, so you're gonna to have to sign up with AdWords and switch over to expert mode, as I talk about in a different video linked on the screen. But either way, this tool is gonna to help you to determine how much to spend on a keyword in your industry, as well as give you an estimated budget for the month, which you can work backwards into a daily budget for your campaigns. So let's jump in. So as mentioned, you're gonna to have to set up Google AdWords. So you can sign up at ads.google.com. And this process is gonna instantly push you through the setup process for Google AdWords Express. And you can instantly skip this by clicking the link at the bottom there that says expert mode. If you go through the process, you're already in Express, you can actually click the link up at the top there and then switch over to expert mode there. But uh, once you're in expert mode, then you wanna click the wrench in the top right corner and then switch over to the keyword planning tool right here. And on this page, you're gonna see two different options. The option to discover new keywords if you're looking for keywords to target in an AdWords campaign. But if you already know these keywords and you just wanna check the cost per click, you can go to get search volume forecasts here. If you want a full video on the keyword planner, that's gonna be linked in the description and on this screen. But for now, we're just gonna to go to volume and go to, let's say, dentist near me. We can say a dentist in Boston. We can say uh, cosmetic dentist, pediatric dentist, endodontist. And uh, that's good for now. Then on this page, you're gonna get a bunch of estimations on search volume, exactly the information that you're looking for. Uh, you can see historical metrics as this was just talking about here. So it's gonna show you trends, uh, which is really interesting to see if there's seasonality within the industries that you're targeting. But we'll just go back to forecast. You can also put negative keywords in here as well and that will update the information here. So these are all estimations that Google's gonna give you based off of uh, historical data in the area that you provide. Notice too that you can change the location. So this is by default gonna be on the United States. So make sure that this is on uh, the location you wanna target. Um, down here, you're gonna see the volume, but this is for the national volume right here. And uh, this is gonna be your actual like clicks and impressions and cost based on the area itself. And what we can do up here is actually set a max CPC, so max cost per click for your keywords. And uh, this is basically just telling Google that we're only gonna be able to spend this much for a click max. Uh, we can spend less, as you can see, the average CPC for their account is gonna be less than your max that you give it. Um, but you can adjust this accordingly. It's gonna change the data down here because uh, at a smaller bid, you're gonna get less impressions and less clicks total. But as you increase this, your impressions are gonna change. Now it's 2000. So changing this will update this information down here as well as here and up here. Um, the next thing that we wanna do is see how much a cost per lead is gonna cost for you um, on average. So let's just set a conversion rate percentage. This is gonna say how many uh, clicks to your website generally turn into a conversion. And if you already have uh, website traffic coming to your main website from Google, then you can look at this in the reports for Google Analytics to get a percentage for conversions if you have goals set up, of course. But otherwise, you might just have to estimate if you're sending traffic to your main website and if you're in a white collar like medical industry, um, then your conversion rates are gonna be a little bit lower if you're in kind of like a niche industry with a, a maybe a large sales process or a long sales process, your conversion rates might be lower. So for medical industry, I'd say like conservative would be 8%. Uh, if you're in like blue collar, you might be more like 10%, 12, 15%. A uh, home service could be like 15, 20%, 25% if you're using landing pages. But for now, we're just estimating this and we're just gonna say eight for now. It's gonna change this information. And we also have two other metrics now. So how many conversions we're gonna get at this max CPC as well as how much we're gonna pay for that conversion. And a conversion, so CPA stands for cost per action. So this action is really whatever you set for the system. It could be a phone call or form submission, or it could be micro actions as well. Um, but anyways, this is gonna give you a sense of 
as you adjust this, how much you're going to be paying and how that adjusts up. See if you if you spend more for a bid, obviously you're going to be spending more for a lead for your business, but you're also going to get more volume. So the goal is to find that healthy medium where you want to figure out where on this graph you want to exist. If you want to get like the most volume, but for the best price, it's probably going to be somewhere around this location because there is a certain point where this graph actually levels out and you're paying more for your leads, but you're not getting that much more volume. And ultimately the market space is capped. So there's only so much volume that you can get and you can see here with the straight line. Uh, but this tool is very interesting. I would, um, if you have ideas on the keywords that you wanna target for a campaign or even for SEO and you're just trying to get a, a sense of how much traffic you can get, great tool to use. Uh, for agencies as well as local businesses pre-campaign. Um, so just get it, play around with this, get a sense of the numbers. Also use the historical metrics feature here. Um, just to get a sense of uh, seasonality with these. And it will show you the specific seasonality for each keyword that you're targeting. A couple other things to note before closing out the video is that you can change this uh, to like projections for next month. So these are actually projections for the, the next month. Uh, you can do like next quarter, all time, next week. And uh, the bigger data sample you get, the more it's gonna average out to uh, all time what you're gonna get. So locations, you can come here, you can actually add more locations than just Boston itself. So if you're targeting like Somerville, Waltham, Newton, Boston, probably won't be applicable for a dentist office. That's just a big range to target, but for home service, it would uh, be applicable. Um, and then, yeah, that's all you pretty much need to know about that. Keyword ideas, this is gonna give you ideas. And in the other video that I made, I highly suggest checking it out. Talk about using the keyword planning tool to get more ideas for what to target. And then you can add those to your plan, jump over here and then see with all these additional keywords, what your numbers are gonna be. So hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully this is a really cool tool. I like using this whenever uh, I give like an audit to someone or I'm talking to someone in the sales conversation. Uh, it's cool to take a snapshot of this information and say, hey, this is what I would estimate for your campaign in this area. Looks really professional. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope this tool helps you guys. And if you liked the video, click like. Any questions, put them in the comments section below. In the description, there's gonna be uh, other videos related to this topic as mentioned in the video. Subscribe if you want more information on Google Ads. Till next time, guys, cheers.